Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter and I'm excited to have you here. In this short video, I'll be explaining what I call my uh, my risk management quick hack. I know there's been a lot of um, a lot of issues around risk management, and then risk management is um, one of the most under discussed topic when it comes to investment and trading. Everybody talks about the profit potentials and all of that. Now, risk management is one singular thing that is of most importance if you want to stay long in, in trading or in investment because your capital is your passport to assess the market every day and every time you want to. It is your it is what gives you the opportunity to be able to access the market every time you want to. So not losing that capital is a big deal. It's a huge one. It's a big deal. And then we need to discuss that extensively. So there's a lot of approach to risk management. And then I'm not here to fault any approach or to place any approach. Whatever works for you, just stick with it. But then one thing is this. you Everything still boils down to you understanding what works for you. And then first, you need to sit down and understand why you need this, what you need it for. So, for example, I'm going to be giving a practical approach to risk management for um, forex trader, um, volatility traders, and all of that. So, I'm going to be giving a practical example, and I'm going to put all of the all of that in this short video. So, for example, let's say you are a forex trader, and then you trade currency. So, the first thing we need to start with is what is your um, risk reward ratio one then what's your what what is your um your sl range that is your stop loss range now let's give a typical example so you trade hold uh peers and let's say i mean hold aud and then let's say euro peers as well and then your stop loss range is between 20 and 30 pips so your stop loss range is between 30 and 30 pips and then your take profit average or least take profit region is around 50 to 60 pips meaning that your risk to reward ratio is around um, 1 ratio 2 1 ratio 3 which is not bad but it's better if you increase it to 1 ratio 5 and even beyond so because one simple thing that make uh, trading sustainable and give you reward long term is you having more reward for your risk. I have a video that where I talked about risk to reward extensively. So you might want to check the channel and then look for that video. It will truly and greatly help you. So um, that said, you have a stop loss range of 20 to 30 pips, a take profit range of 50 to, 50 to 60 pips. So now how do we, how do we, how do we, integrate that into our risk management plan so for example you can have a risk management plan that says that whatever make you lose um between 40 and 60 pips so let's say, let's stay in the other part of the boundary so whatever make you lose 60 pips in a day you are done for that day so meaning that if you stay on 20 pips stop loss it will take three trades to win that i mean to get to that so whatever make you lose 60 pips in a day you are done trading for that day no matter how beautiful the next opportunity you will see you are done trading your live account you can go on demo account or you can totally close the charts and, and and go do something else so that's one thing that's a quick one so if you uh, so meaning that for you to achieve that 60 pips loss on a 20 pip stop loss, it takes three trades. On a 30 pip stop loss, it takes two trades. So whatever make you lose that much, 60 pips, on 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 uh, in, in a particular day, you are done for the day. That's one. Two, that's to set a daily um, stop loss or daily loss threshold. Now the next one is to set is to set a weekly loss threshold. Weekly loss threshold. So let's say that. Your weekly loss threshold is going to be around 100 or 120 pips. So let's say you're having a losing streak and then 
this today you lost 40 pips tomorrow you lost 40 pips then the next tomorrow you lost 40 pips now you know that you are done for the week already you are done for the week already so whatever make you lose between 100 and 120 pips even if it's the first day of the day of the week even if even even if that happened on monday but of course you know that for you to lose up to 100 pips or 120 pips in one trade you are, you have actually um, faulted your first risk management um, um, plan the, the first one we spoke about about you losing uh, when you lose up to 60 pips you stay out of the market now so what I make you lose up to 100 to 120 pips you just stay out of the market for that week so even if that happened on a Tuesday that means Wednesday Thursday Friday you are done trading you are done trading so you are gonna go you are going to give your time and energy to something that can recreate you that can help you refresh you can you you spend that time going over the books again going over the trade again what went wrong what did i do wrong what, did i follow my trade plan was it was it my confirmation and all of those things that you need to check go over the books you've read before or the new one go over the videos and then just you know refresh yourself and be sure that everything is right on your path then do some take some time off the charts take some time off trade and everything that's the way trade and investment go have fun and then by the time it's a new week you'll be refreshed to enter the market again it's because if we keep losing you would get to a point where um you 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 start doing revenge trading and then your account that can get wiped out even if your account doesn't get wiped out know that the more loss we have the harder it becomes to recover it because if you lose 50 percent of your account you are not going to you are not going to just make that money back by winning 50 percent i hope you understand what that means so if you have a thousand dollar account trading account and you lost 50 percent of that all you have left is 500 dollars so for you to make 50 percent of that 500 dollars is still 750 aggregate so you are still less than what your capital used to be so you need to be you you need to you know, calm down and make sure that you don't lose so much so and then it's easier said than done and that's why we have to have some practical specific figure that you work with and that you stay with religiously so 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 going over this again you need to have daily um, loss threshold weekly loss threshold and if you want you can set monthly loss threshold and, and as um, as much and as many as you want to but of course the, the, the typical example of 20 30 pips uh, the typical example I use in this video is based on a stop loss range of 20 to 30 pips I don't know what kind of trader you are a scalper a day trader a swing trader I don't know the what you have what kind of trader you have but just give that example so whoever whatever type of trader you have is going to determine what your stop loss range and how you want to set your own threshold i just gave that as a typical example i don't mean that you must follow that religiously and just copy and paste that but if it works for you that way it's okay so um so let me know what you think about this idea of having daily threshold daily loss threshold the weekly loss threshold and if you have practiced it before let us know in the comment section how it has worked for you so thank you for watching this video if you have found value in this video kindly love like this video so that youtube can suggest it to other people and they can get blessed by it also subscribe to this channel if you are new and then turn on the notification bell so that you can get alerted when new great content like this drop thank you for watching see you in the next one